Tell her to listen. Don't let her Tell go her in to there. listen. No, don't do it. Oh my gosh. They don't. It's not right. It isn't right. I'm such a good dad. I know, honey. I took I, care of her kids too, and the guy that she's left back in her life doesn't even take care of his own kids. Women, in my opinion, like ever since they've gotten freedom to do things, and their freedom comes from wicked people. Trust me, all the things you're able to do, wicked people enabled you to do it, so you can destroy your neighborhoods and everything. I'm talking to almost, I'm talking to all women of the Western world here in America. Your freedom has destroyed not only your neighborhoods, not only the family. You have destroyed you. You know, every time I talk about Russ and Sierra, like, man, you just hating, man. They happy. They so happy. Man, when they posted that pic right there, when she posted that pic, I mean, even women couldn't deny it. Women just had to be honest. That's too much. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity totally submerged in alpha energy i'm your host dr boa this is a wife and a mother and i saw a picture with her and megan and megan was dressed much classier than she was megan had on a full evening gown now of course the sleeve was out and it was low cut but it was full e it came all the way down from the halter part of her chest and it came all the way down to the floor and here this woman here this married woman who's supposed to represent all this positivity and this great relationship. And Russ is so lucky to have her. And she out there, man, dressed like a straight up thought. Now you tell me where they do that at. And then she just, listen, she made a song about being independent. And then Russ went and bought her masters from the record label. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. That's a power move. If my girl had a, 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 a recording contract, I would buy her masters too but I would keep them. He bought her masters for her. He probably gave her the money and let her write it out and let her pay it out of her own bank account. He bought her masters and gave them to her. He empowered her. So what are you going to do now? She don't even need him now. Let me, let me tell y'all something right now. And Y'all remember BOA said it. This woman is preparing her exit and strategy from this dude. He about to fall off. He got a new coach that really ain't even feeling him. You know what I'm saying? A new coach come in, unless you balling out, new coach got his preference already. He already know who he want to put in that system. The draft coming up, you, you ain't balling worth nothing. The team sucked. You stunk up the joint. Man, she know that boy is on his way out, and when he on his way out, he ain't going to be in the spotlight no more, so she trying to make sure she can get her money up because she know she don't be able to get whatever she get in divorce. The continual income, the continual influx of income is going to be gone. So I guarantee you, man, I know what the exit strategy look like, man. You know what I'm saying? On some realism, that woman is preparing her exit strategy. She didn't got that food to buy her masters. If nothing else, she can sell her catalog. She can sell her publishing. Future just sold here for, I think, 75 million. Uh, Metro Booming sold his. Dream sold his. Guys are, guys are selling their stuff. Wayne sold his for like 200 million. Dre sold here. Dr. Dre sold his. Everybody, all these guys, they're selling their publishing. And now she has hers. She owns her master. She can sell everything. She's trying to get out of there, man. Because you know what? The time is up. When a woman don't like you and a woman got bodies on her, man, she can't pair bond with you. She can put on for the gram, which is what she like to do. Tell me this. How relevant would Sierra have been, man, if she won Russell Wilson wife? Her time in the music game has passed her by. I'm not even saying because of age. I'm saying because she's been in the game. Like, BOA can drop right now and take over the game because I'm a new artist. Age don't even matter. She's been in the game for a long time. Like, she's she's an OG artist in the game. If you're a new artist, you're a new artist regardless. You the, you the, you the new new. But she, we wouldn't even know who she was, man. She wouldn't have had no time in the spotlight like this. She wouldn't have had no time in the sun. She got time in the sun because she's the wife of one of the most popular. He's a quarterback. He's a quarterback in the NFL. There's no other position more popular than quarterback in the NFL. So she's preparing her exit. And I think the thing is, man, that Russ became emotionally attached. First, he became physically wooed. Then he became emotionally attached. And there was nothing she could do that was going to make him lose. Man, listen, when I saw the picture of her and Russ together, man, Russ don't look happy. 
He don't look happy to have his wife out there like that. But this is the animal he created. He the one be on the ground cheering her own man when she be doing all that twerking and dropping, man. Let me tell you something. The only woman who is going to dress like this in public is a thought. That is it. That is it. See, women like to say that's a good relationship. Yes, yeah, good relationship for Sierra. That boy here just got a hundred fifty million dollar contract. Of course, it's a good relationship for her. I want y'all to keep in mind, man, that when you're in these situations, a woman is going to decide at some point that leaving you and getting what she can get to leave is enough. See, after a while, after after a woman lives a lifestyle for a while, she starts to bore of those things. So you can meet a woman that's been getting money for a while, that's been around somebody getting money for a while. She don't even want to red bottom shoes. When you're dealing with a woman who, especially in this situation with Russell and Sierra, Sierra's energy is masculine. And what you got to understand is the more masculine her energy is, the more feminine tendencies you will embody as you attempt to parabond with a non-feminine entity. As a man, if you parabond with a non-feminine entity, you are going to embody some feminine tendencies because you are willingly opening yourself up to an energy exchange with a non-feminine entity. What do you think is going to happen? Don't you understand that nature is going to correct itself and it's going to auto-correct and it's going to correct by funneling through you because you are the one who are trying to force nature into an unnatural condition. If you ever try to force nature into an unnatural condition, nature is going to correct itself. Nature is always going to correct itself. A feminine woman, a masculine man draws her in every time. A non-feminine woman, masculine man don't want her. Feminine man, drawn straight to her. They make a perfect match. I'm telling y'all what I know. So when you really think about it, when she's a woman externally, but internally she's many men, She's going to be combative and adversarial and just do things opposite that you would want her to do. Like Sierra dressing like this at the Oscars, man. This is the opposite. Man, she had everything out, bro. You see, I had to put stars on her, man. Man, she had everything out. Now, she did have on, you know, some little body cover so you can see you can see her nips or anything. But just the insinuation that a wife should show up like this. It's, it's the world we live in, man. Because what you got to understand is... A woman who has all of those bodies and all of that masculine energy, she will never be feminine again. No matter how many vows of celibacy she takes, that's why they be taking these vows of celibacy, man. These vows of celibacy make them feel clean again. Yes, you can, you can, be, you can cleanse yourself, but the energy of those men in you is not going to go anywhere. That is your punishment from God for being a thought. There is punishment, and that is yours. Since you like men so much, here, take some masculine energy and keep it inside of you for the rest of your life. You, man, and this is, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. And this ain't even a, an attack or nothing on anyone. I have never met so many women in their 20s with whiskers on their face. My grandma had a few whiskers on her face, but I have never met so many women in their 20s, late 20s, early 30s with whiskers on their face. I'm talking about pretty girls with whiskers on their face. I'm talking about a growing facial hair. Why? Because of what I'm telling you. A woman who keeps being with men over and over again, many men, she is going to have masculine energy. Her testosterone levels are going to be high just by default. And so, yes, she's going to be more aggressive. She's going to be more abrasive. She's going to be disobedient. She's going to talk a lot. She's going to be fired up a lot. And she's going to grow whiskers. The reality is, as a man, you got to understand your value. And your value is based on your ability to protect your energy. You got to protect your energy. And that's one thing that Russell Wilson isn't doing. You have to protect your energy. Get from the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars, and the mountains. You give her the world. Or you go buy her masters and give them to her. This woman would have never got her masters. She was an artist. She wasn't a boss. She ain't never been a boss. She's an artist. Now she's a boss at Russell Wilson's expense. And she sees that Russell Wilson is on downswing in his career. A woman knows when you're falling off. She can see it in you. She's part of the reason he's falling off. Boy, boy when you dedicate yourself, you got to give all this energy to a woman. It drains you, man. 
That's why you don't put yourself in a situation where a woman drains your energy. Think about relationships. If a woman is draining your energy, she's not contributing to the process of your progress. You never let a woman come and take anything from the relationship. She has to nurture it. She has to make sure it flourishes. She has to contribute to it in a way. And then she get her return from it. She don't come in draining and draining and draining. No, she don't get to take it out until she puts some in. That's what y'all mean got to understand. And she don't put in but a dedication, motivation, time, effort, energy. Focus on everything that you wanted to do. Focus on everything you wanted to be. Then that woman can get some back. But a woman has to at least put the investment of effort and energy into a situation. And Russell Wilson didn't make Sierra do that. Russell Wilson put Sierra in that situation, man, because he liked the way she shake her ass in her videos. You men have to keep in mind. And I'm not going to keep trying to lead this horse to water and make it drink. When you are in a situation with a woman, you must make sure she is contributing all her effort and energy to your life. That way you know she deserves what she gets out of the situation. Otherwise, you're always going to be in a deficit. And it's not meant for you to be in a deficit. It's her job to be a help me, not yours. What she should be doing is giving Russ the masters. At least she could do. He done put in a $25 million house, put in a lap of luxury. She ain't got to do nothing. Come on, man. Y'all got to stop. Stop doing this to yourselves, man. You deserve better. You deserve better. So give yourself better. And stop taking less and worse from a woman that didn't mean you no good in the first place. But I don't know, man. Am I being too hard on this woman? Am I am I exhibiting some toxic masculinity or something? I don't think so. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace.